Hello friends, hope you have tried out with the first data type that is string kind of a data type. <coughs> now we will discuss about the next data type which is numeric kind of a data type. When I say numeric kind of a data type, you must have already understood like what kind of a data type it is. Yes, your guess is right. It is kind of a numbers that I am dealing with. If you look at this example where A is equal to 5, B is equal to 9, there is a particular kind of a data type. Right. So let us try first. Instead of me saying the names, let's first try initializing the values. Say suppose num1 is equal to I am giving 69. Num2 is equal to 56.89. And num3 equal to, I am giving it as 4j. Right? Now, let's try understanding, let's try printing the type of each of the variable. Okay, I will write print. How do, how do you write print? I have to say what type it is, data type it is. I have to say which variable I am interested to look into. Correct? So, similarly, I want to print the type of num2 and num3 as well. Let's try executing it. Right. So now, what is the class type that you have got? The first one, which is 69, number is called as INT data type. INT stands for integer data type. <clears throat> as you understand, integer means a positive or a negative number or a zero. Say I will initialize one more number, num4 which is equal to minus 99, right? Same thing I will print. Num 4. Whether the number is positive or negative, you can see num 1 is positive number, num 2 is negative number. But in both the cases, the kind of a data type is INT. INT stands for integer. The second type is float. Float, when you say, you can see like there is a decimal point followed with some numbers. In this case, it is 56.89. Right. So, this is another kind of a number that I can deal with. And the third one, third kind of a data type is some complex number where you have some real number, some imaginary value right so both of this so the numeric data types can be further of the type int which is integer float and complex please try doing some mathematical operations on all these three in the assignment one you were given with some mathematical operations right you must have tried out with simple integer values i expect you to try out the mathematical operations on floating point numbers, complex numbers as well. If you have any difficulties, please post it in the comment box so that I'll be able to help you out. See you in the next video with the next data type. Thank you.